We are continuing to dig deeper into who's responsible for the cleanup of Brilliant Minds Academy. That child care center recently shut down after being found to have lead in the paint and on the grounds. Following last week's temporary closure of the school, public health officials told 23 ABC the California Department of Social Services was responsible for cleaning up that lead, but Social Services says they're not responsible for that cleanup as well. 23 ABC's Tori Cooper has been following the investigation and has new details about what's being done as far as the clean up Tori. Tim and Jessica preschool tenants met with insurance adjusters earlier today to get a new paint job. Lead contaminants were found on the exterior and interior of the building by Kern County Health officials back in April. But tonight it is still unclear of who is responsible for the cleanup and when the preschool will reopen. The Department of Public Health, Environmental Health Division, we do not perform cleanup efforts. Kern County Public Health official Michelle Corson says even though lead exposure poses an extreme safety hazard to children, her department is not responsible for helping remediate the lead from the preschool facility. The responsible party to our knowledge would be those that oversee the licensing of the facility, which is the California Department of Social Services. But officials at the California Department of Social Services told 23ABC that their department is not responsible and that the Brilliant Minds Academy business owners are the ones who need to make the effort to clean up, not them. Lead was found in the exterior and interior paint, as well as the soil near the child play area. Business owners have since filed an insurance claim to get a new paint job. According to the insurance adjuster who was on site today investigating the areas that had lead contaminants and needed new paint jobs. After all the lead is gone, public health will do its part by revisiting the facility for a follow-up evaluation. We can go back in and we can test to make sure that there is no lead present at the Brilliant Minds Academy. After that, if public health finds no lead at the facility during its reevaluation process, the state says those findings will have to be resubmitted to the state so that the owners of the Brilliant Minds Academy can apply for relicensing. Now, the owners of the Brilliant Minds Academy have declined to comment of the, on their cleanup efforts, but the insurance adjuster did tell me today that the property owner has been notified. We will, of course, continue to follow the cleanup efforts as we learn more and about when the Academy plans to reopen. We'll bring you those details on our website, turn to 23.com. Reporting live in South Bakersfield, I'm Tori Cooper for 23ABC. Tori, thanks. It's an update to